Hi, so today I was going to share with you guys a little look in my Hobonichi Techo and Cousin and this last week as we started 2022. I have a little Disney instrumental going in the background and today I am in Tennessee at my cousins and the girls. Some of you have purchased some of the cute little zip pouches that she has created. And so this is her little cute sewing section. And then little monkey, will you turn and wave? Wave, thank you. She's sewing and pressing all the cute little um, materials. I'll show you some of those at the end, but let's get started and take a little look in my Hobonichi Techo. So this is my little decorated for January. I'm trying to keep this open to just sort of the main um, points. And then we'll take a little look here back at the beginning of the new year. Of course, we start off with some cats and Hello Kitty. And then a lot of my stickers are random and also from the Sticky Club, which I've shared about lately is just like a little favorite and it's like such a really good value each month. And this is my um, A6 size and it's my everyday carry. And it just keeps track of a lot of my tasks that I need to do. And then this is for tomorrow, which I'm heading home from Tennessee. And so I wanna really just enjoy that trip home, maybe find a couple stationery shops or bookstores along the way and find some little goodies. So I'm already a little day in advance there. I'm gonna switch that over and give you a little look in my Hobonichi Cousin. And this is the front cover here. And then inside, we have a little glare there. Let me see if I can. There, yeah. go and give you a better look. And this is a postcard from Disney World. And all my little stickers and washi are really a random little collection of things that um, I have. We'll move on to the little months here and I started in December. I'm gonna do those little mini photos uh, of the cats I thought would be really cute, different little random ones that I take of them each day and post them in the day here. A lot of printers do a little sample sheet. I'm gonna use this little sample sheet um, photos on sticky paper. Now I use uh, my kits from the Sticky Club. So I'll give you a little closer look there. And since I'm away in Tennessee, I don't have my little, uh, little tripod holder for my camera. So there's a little look. So for now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add in those little cat pictures, a fun little place to keep a picture of the girls and Thomas. And then we'll fast forward here. This is sort of like um, in the weekly section, what I'm working on for my Instagram and group and YouTube and things like that to share with you guys so that I can really stay consistent this year and make sure I'm at least posting a video for you guys at least once a week. And then as I fast forward here to the new year, the beginning, where it's kind of a reflection page, I've started creating on here and I will add in some of those things that I would not like to do, but will do throughout the new year. And then I started with a little art decorating. I'm not super great at it, but I'm definitely having lots of fun with it. And then all of these pages are sort of just like an art journal or journaling or creating. This is just to enjoy and create in. This is gonna be my page with my book list. 
And over here is my Nintendo Switch games. So I'm gonna have to check and see what those other ones are to list here. This is gonna be my favorite tea collection that I have. Uh, sometimes I'm always trying to look up like which brand in that different things were. So those will go here and the websites that I purchased them on. Then some more creative decorating, some inspirational little quotes. Here's a scripture from the Bible, 1 Corinthians 13, four through five. It's one a lot of people know, but it really popped out a little message to me in it the other night. So I jotted some notes of that down. And then at the back here, my Hobonichi, I have one of the, from the Hobonichi website, these little clear file folders where I keep extra stickers or papers and things like that in here. Some extra little washi tapes. And then let me show you a few other little things that I brought with me to create with today. Oh, here is one of the little cute zip pouches that my niece made. It's Cameron, but I'll, you'll probably hear me say Little Monkey, because that's my little nickname for her. And um, this is one that she had made, and those are all sold out now, but hopefully we'll have some available um, and some special little Sanrio collections for spring. So this is my gratitude journal. And this is just my writing journal over here. And these are both Midori and their B6 Slim is the size. So I'll show you that. And then the little inside here. This one I like to use a lot of the little cat stickers. And it's just a lot of personal things written in there that I am thankful and grateful for. And then we'll move along here and I'll show you some of the little goodies I brought with me. These are actually little mini post-its and I used those today right here in my Hobonichi. So those are adorable. And some of these little cards. I love all sorts of little houses and shops. And some more little note cards. A little coffee and kitties, what could be better? And then I have a little B6 slim insert that I'm um, decorating the cover for. I had purchased on it's a Macari. Everyone says it's a little different Macari. I say Macari. Um, a B6 Slim notebook I purchased off there that's a Chic Sparrow. So I'm making some little inserts for that. And then these cute stamp set that I've had for a bit. And they're just adorable with books and such. So I brought those with me to kind of have some fun with and a little cute um, a little cute toolkit with a couple of little clear stamps and ink which is just perfect I don't use my stamps often and I really want to start doing that more because I love the look of of them when I see in art journals and planners and it just gives um, such a different little look I'll pour these out. I know on my Instagram I had posted a picture. Ooh, well, that one went down. I posted a picture of some of these new little stamps. But that little Pol Polaroid camera is adorable. And houses, there's more houses. Because I said I've really been into that. And of course, cats. Cats, Disney, Sanrio, Kauai, always to be expected. And lots of really cute little ink colors. Okay, and lastly, I have two more things to share with you. Another one of those clear A5 file folders. I really love these for organizing. And I can keep all sorts of cute little 
pages and papers for creating in my Hobonichi or art journal and a little here plethora of little flake stickers inside my little Disney mint tin I converted into my sticker holder so this is a little of some of the fun stuff I've been working on and creating with with my little nieces this weekend and enjoying and having a fun time creating and I hope it gives you some ideas or sparks some little inspiration for you to create and as always if you have any questions please comment below and I make sure to answer all of those um, I did say I'd give you a little peek at some of the other fabrics let me do that real quick here's the Care Bear the adorable Cinderella with the little mice and if you're not part of our Peach Life group, I would love to have you. It's over on Facebook. And many of these little specialty items that come along every once in a while, I post there first for everyone and they're usually gone before they can ever get to my Etsy shop. So if you would love to join us over there, um, we'd be so thrilled to have you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.